How am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty quite annoyed actually at the moment with what's going on in France. Where uh, an out and out Nazi has just come second in the first round of the presidential elections. Jamais Le Pen, never again. 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 Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. Never again. But most of all, we were guilty of saying enough is enough. That's an interesting uh, career shift uh, now. Organised by the Halden Society of Socialist Lawyers. Thanks very much. <laughs> We're here today in solidarity with the six defendants who are on trial in Dublin in the Central Criminal Court. They're charged with false imprisonment in connection to a sit-down protest they took part in 2014 in Jokestown. Uh, in front of the car of the Deputy Prime Minister, Joan Burton. If uh, these six people are convicted, they face anywhere between life imprisonment to 10 years. Uh, false imprisonment is a felony offence in Ireland. Now, three of the defendants are public representatives. Paul Murphy is uh, an MP in the Irish Parliament. Two others are elected councillors. And we think the reason that they have been prosecuted in this fashion is because of their involvement in the anti-war charges movement, which delivered a blow to the austerity agenda in Ireland. Jobs done. Okay, very good. Uh, we're going to get our, our first speaker, uh, who's uh, Paul Heron, who's part of the Haldane Society of Socialist Lawyers. So now they are being persecuted, uh, in part in revenge against uh, beating the Irish establishment, and also to act as a warning to Irish working class people not to resist further austerity attacks. This, today's protest has been organised by the Haldine uh, Society of Socialist Lawyers uh, and also Jobstown Not Guilty in England and Wales and we're here to make our voices heard that the persecution of political activists uh, will not be uh, allowed to go forward and that uh, protest is not a crime in Ireland. Jobstown! 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 Bosses and governments come and go. Our members are day in, day out, all organising the railway, running the railway, making sure it's safe uh, and efficient. Uh, DOO! We, we, no. we say no! To DOO! We say no! To DOO! Secretary of State for Transport's come and go, Prime Minister's come and go, MPs come and go, uh, and rail bosses <laughs> come and go. Uh, our members are still in there providing that service. <laughs> the Home Office to demonstrate against uh, the Home Office possibly choosing to downgrade different levels of experiments from severe to moderate. And these experiments actually include screwing bolts into monkeys' skulls, depriving them of food and water, and other very severe experiments. How that cannot be considered severe, and that's why we're here today to ask Amber to keep it that way. Animal testing is torture. 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 Animal testing is torture.
Yeah, that's one. I think that's one.